putting some new things on my wheelchair. Oh my. <laughs> okay, this is harder than I thought. Friday. Good Friday afternoon everyone. I had a rough night. Let's be honest. My nights have been rough recently since I lost my G-tube. But last night was a bit worse than usual and there's no reason why it would be worse than usual. It's just the unpredictable nature of chronic illness. A lot of nausea and vomiting and dry heaving. And I kept telling myself, wait a little longer and you'll feel better and then we can start the vlog. Wait a little bit longer, you'll feel better and we can start the vlog. Well, I am not feeling better yet. I mean, thankfully I am not vomiting or dry heaving anymore, but I'm just worn out and nauseated from last night, so I'm recuperating from that. But I decided to start the vlog regardless because right now this is my reality. And on this channel I like to show y'all honesty. And so here I am just trying my hardest to feel better because I've got a lot of things I need to do around the house. I've got a wheelchair tech coming to look at my smart drive and I need to get things done so this is where I'm at right now all right y'all I I'm honestly still not feeling all that great but I'm feeling a bit better so I'll take it I just needed more time on the heating pad to help my abdominal pain some more medicine to help with my symptoms, and a little bit of honey in my mouth to get rid of the acidic taste. Sometimes the honey works, sometimes it doesn't, but thankfully today it helped a bit. Anyways, even though I'm not feeling all that great, I am pushing through because, like I said, I've got a lot of things to get done around the house today. I've got chores to do, laundry to fold and put away, meals to prep for Judd because he is working this weekend. I got college assignments, so I have began to tackle some of those items and then I came downstairs to continue which I will do after a brief intermission. I have been powering away at all the things I needed to get to done, ugh, get done today slowly but surely and I just haven't picked up the camera much because honestly when I'm not feeling well and I have things to do it's hard enough to do those things and then vlog at the same time but thankfully as the day has gone on, I have started to feel a little bit better and a little bit better. And now I wanted to show y'all, I mentioned that a wheelchair tech was coming out today because I've been having some issues, not with the wheelchair itself, but with my smart drive. And the unit is okay, but we think what's happening is this bracket that it rests on here is defective somehow because it's supposed to stay level but it continuously keeps becoming unlevel and that in turn causes the smart drive unit to wobble when in use, which is not good. And then also, I believe they are going to look at my bracelet or replace my bracelet because it is not holding a long enough charge and then the bracelet will suddenly just disengage from the smart drive unit when I'm using it, um, even when I'm not like double tapping to disengage or anything like that. So having some smart drive malfunctions and the wheelchair tech should help me out with those. I am also putting some new things on my wheelchair. Well, new because I'm just getting around to putting them on now, but I've had these items for a few months now. This is called a spokeskin or like a spokes guard, and it just goes over your wheel spoke and adds a pop of color to your wheels. And of course, I chose pink. I got this box from Amazon. And in order to put these on, I had to unravel the light I have on my wheels. Unfortunately, this light is broken. The other half doesn't light up anymore. So I'm going to order a replacement. I also got that from Amazon. But 
Now I'm gonna put these on and see how I wanna arrange them. So you just cut it to size, and then, if y'all can see, oh, there's Harlow's nose down there. Uh, I don't know if I can do this one-handed. Oh, there we go. It just slides over like that the whole way down. But I really need two hands for this. <laughs> Ta-da! But we have, well, not really a problem, but this is going to bother me. Y'all see I'm doing every other one. The pattern can't continue all the way around, and that big gap there will bother me. So I'm going to see how it looks with a spokes guard on all of them. Ta-da! All right, I think I like it. And if for whatever reason I feel like there's too much pink, they're super easy to remove. But let's be real now. I, I really like the color pink. And you can mix and match colors. As y'all can see, my chair is pink and purple. And I ordered these. These are push rim covers to help give you more grip on the rims. Sometimes these get slippery, especially if it's raining out and we're at Disney and they get wet and it's harder for me to grip. So I'm hoping these will help. And this is from Reha Design. They're based in Europe. And on my shipping notifications, it was like, your package is in Lithuania. I was like, what did I order from? What's in like Lithuania? And then I remembered it was this. It's just quite funny. I asked her, I was like, babe, did you have something coming from Lithuania? <laughs> He's like, Nope. All right, let's put these on. All right, they should just go right over. Oh my. <laughs> okay, this is harder than I thought. Ooh, the struggle. <laughs> okay, I made that way harder than it had to be. It's super easy to put on if you just slowly feed it through, but ta-da! Again, I think it looks pretty cool, and this definitely gives it a good amount of grip, plus the colors complement the colors already on my wheelchair, and they're easy to get on and off if I feel the need. Now I gotta do the other wheel. What do you think, Harlow? What do you think? Yeah. Voila! And the other wheel will look like this too when the replacement lights come in, but I like it. I think it looks good. I'm looking forward to when I can test out the pushroom cover to see if the extra grip gives me any benefit. If y'all are interested, I will put some links in the description to some of these items, some of my other wheelchair gadgets. Before I forget, some of y'all were asking me how the wheelchair shelf has been working out. We installed it a few months ago. I love it. Okay, this is a dog toy. I don't typically carry this in my wheelchair, but it's like the closest thing to me. I really think this is a convenient thing. It's helped me a lot. I use it every time I go out in my wheelchair. And yeah, if you want any more info on my wheelchair, check out my custom wheelchair playlist. And now, just waiting for my wheelchair tech to get here. Well, a few hours have passed. I was able to check a few more things off my to-do list. Not everything, unfortunately, but I'm just not feeling well today, so I can't expect myself to be as productive as I would be on a, a typical day. For me i just gotta do the best i can and that is exactly what i've done anyways the wheelchair tech did come by this evening and i've got a new bracelet i know it looks the same but it's new he transferred over the pink band i have they come black but i ordered a pink one to replace it with and once it's charged up i can pair it with my smart drive this stayed the same and he put a new bracket on and he said when he changed out the bracket he could tell the one i had seemed not very sturdy to him this one he thinks will be a lot better so no more rickety wobbling smart drive and hopefully the new bracelet no more turning off randomly and running out of battery too fast Anyways, I've been in the kitchen preparing Judd's meals for his upcoming shifts, and I can show you all what I am concocting. Here we've got some pork chops. It has olive oil, and then the seasoning is McCormick's brown sugar bourbon. He likes that. And the chicken's got some olive oil, and then I put on some paprika and garlic powder, salt and pepper. And then on top of it, I put minced garlic cloves and this thick layer of Parmesan cheese, which should be good. Then he's got potatoes and asparagus, they've got olive oil on it, and then both the potatoes and asparagus have paprika, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and some parm. So I'm just gonna bake this up. Ta-da! It looks pretty good. I've never made this chicken this way before, but looks tasty to me. I think Judd's gonna enjoy it, and I've already started distributing the asparagus. 
and his meals are ready. Well, y'all, my night is coming to an end. feel accomplished everything I got done today, especially meal prepping for Judd, even though I'm not eating what I cook. One, I just enjoy cooking regardless, and I really like providing Judd with some nice home-cooked meals for him to take to work, so that was good. And speaking of meals, earlier today I not unhooked from my feeds to push medicine through my J-tube, and then... I forgot to hook back up for like two hours, which I don't usually forget, but it happens. Not a big deal. I'm just going to be running feeds longer to compensate for the missed time. Anyways, tonight I will be waiting up a little bit because my weekly supply delivery for my port care stuff, infusion bags, IV meds, stuff like that, the company told me it was going to be coming a little bit late. So that is fine. Just waiting for that. And, um, Oh, before I sign off, I did want to let y'all know that we're going to be doing our 100k live stream finally, yay! Sorry it's taken so long to get to it, it's just our life has been a little hectic. Uh, we were traveling like in Orlando and then Judd wants to be present for the live stream and so we couldn't do it this weekend, but we're going to do it next weekend, March 31st. It is a Saturday. I'm not exactly sure what time we will start yet, probably in the afternoon evening-ish so stay tuned for more details hope to see y'all there and with that i am going to sign off feeling the nausea just creeping back in kind of stinks because i was starting to feel better but i know the cycle is going to repeat itself and i will be sick again tonight well you know what actually i'm not going to say that i don't know how tonight's going to go because tonight hasn't happened yet so maybe it'll go better than last night can be hopeful Regardless, I'm going to keep doing my best to keep moving forward. So with that, I will say good night and thanks for joining us on our adventure.